If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow mass soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing right now is going over all these new AKA cards that will be coming tomorrow in Ultimate Team. I'm gonna be rating this new program. Well, it's technically not new. The only reason why I say it's new is because the last program that we had, they used a, like a lot of the legend players and stuff like that. And then towards the end, they released like two of the new modern players. But this program specifically, from my knowledge, is going to be a lot of the current players who still play for the NFL, but have like their own nicknames and stuff like that, which some of them don't make sense. But we're going to go ahead and go over that right now. And we're going to speak about all that. And then I'm going to pick the best one that I feel out of all of them is the best one. And I know some of you guys are going to ask me, hey, are they going to give us a free one? um tomorrow no it's not gonna happen but it's gonna be similar like it was the last time where you're gonna everyone's gonna get a token after grinding out these solos and stuff like that and then you're gonna be able to use those tokens later on to get a free one out of all the ones that release and then i'm gonna be going over more of the program that of what i know so far so anyways let's go ahead and get into it so the first one right here you see tyreek hill aka the cheetah which everybody knows him as a cheetah so that does make sense he got 97 speed, 93 jumping, 93 catching, 93 catching traffic, 95 spectacular, 93 short route, 94 medium route, and 97 deep route. So to me, this is going to be the best receiver card in the game. I, I, not really, I mean, I guess you could say receiver card, but really the fastest one that's going to make them the best because there's a lot of other players who are tall and they just have like great catching. But I'm going to be honest with you, I'm using um, T.Y. Hilton. And that card is insane with that 98 speed I have on my on him on my squad. So I could imagine Cheetah on a theme team with that 99 speed with the catch and everything else he has. It's going to be crazy. And then we got JJ Watt, the milkman. The <laughs> I, I, I never heard of him being the milkman. The only reason why I'm assuming what happened was EA probably asked them or talked to him. Hey, what do they what is he known for where you guys call him or whatever the case may be and it's probably maybe a nickname amongst themselves amongst the players i have no idea because i've never heard this maybe some of you guys have that's the only thing i could think of and i'm pretty sure all this was discussed before they even re released these cards so this is what they came up with the milkman from which I, I'm, I'm okay with i really don't care what nicknames honestly to me this is a good program in general so i like it the nicknames to me honestly is irrelevant. It just makes it look more funny because you can actually see the, the the name on the field as you're playing. So that's what just makes it more entertaining for me. But check them out though. 91 speed, 89 acceleration, 96 strength, 94 tackle, 93 play rec, 97 block shit, 97 power move, and 95 finesse move. So maybe his speed is not crazy like the other ones are, but everything else is actually pretty decent. And then we got AJ Dillon. I really don't care for this card, but it does look pretty decent though. And they call him quad father yeah I don't, I don't know what that means but apparently that's what they call him 95 speed 92 acceleration 93 agility 92 carry 72 catching 94 change of direction 98 trucking and 96 break tackle then we got stefan gilmore gilly lock which i've never heard but hey whatever it's in some uh pretty decent card art 95 speed which should have been 96 93 acceleration 94 agility 97 jumping 93 play rec 96 man 95 zone and 96 press then we got uh, Adams, oh, Jamal Adams. I, I For a second, I totally forgot the, what the J was. Jamal Adams, and they call him Prez. I've never heard of that, but okay, we'll go ahead and uh, go with that. 95 speed, 94 acceleration, 92 tackle, 93 play rec, 90 pursuit, 90 man, 97 zone, and 97 hit power. Like I said, that card art is actually pretty good. I'm assuming, I don't, I'm assuming he wasn't wearing that tuxedo as as they were doing the card art but i'm assuming that uh yeah i'm just gonna assume that they created that tuxedo on him you know with this new ai or something but that actually looks pretty decent and then we actually got a center we actually got a center um r jensen red tornado card art's insane that actually, i actually want that center now that card art is insane oh he's a tampa bay buccaneer card art is actually insane i wonder what type of abilities and stuff like that he gets because mind you he's a center so centers don't get X factors. So I wonder how this is gonna uh, pan out. Then you get 94 strength, 96 awareness, 96 pass block, 94 pass block power, 97 pass block finesse, 
96 run block, 93 run block power, and 96 run block finesse. The only thing I will say, I do look forward to this program, but the only thing I don't look forward to is the power up. And we all know that you're going to have to power these cards up most likely like you did last time in order for him to get the best abilities and so forth, right? Another thing that I want to point out to you guys real quick, if you guys want to know more about the program, is that I do know, according to what EA has showed, that they're actually, after you complete each solo and stuff like that, when it comes to these specific cards, you're going to get an 88 overall version of them. I'm assuming the 88 is going to go, maybe it's going to be part of the power up, I don't know, but you're going to be able to get an 88 overall version of them, which I thought that was actually pretty cool, pretty decent. But once again, though, in the end, I really don't want to power up these cards. And then we got a punter. A 90 speed, 91 acceleration, 97 kick power, 91 kick accuracy, 89 awareness, 78 throw power, 7 short accuracy, and 88 throw, um, throw, on the, throw on the run? No, 88 run. 88 throw on the run? Wow, is that what this is? Is that what? The, wow. For a, for a punter? And he's a giant? Wow, he must be some good punter or something like that. That's actually not bad with 90 speed. Wow. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to want to pick this guy up. Yeah, that's actually pretty decent. That's actually pretty decent, actually. That's actually a nice card. I can see people keep picking that up. And then we got Big Trust. I did hear this. I, I think it was in the interview, right, when they call him Big Trust. <laughs> they call them Big Trust. So I, I can see Lamar Jackson, Big Trust. So that 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 makes it about right. Family, Big Trust. 96 speed. So he's going to have 98 speed on theme team. 94, 96 throw under pressure. 94 short accuracy. 95 mid accuracy. 94 deep accuracy. 94 throw under pressure. 95 throw under run. And 97 play action. So the only thing I, I I will say about these cards, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be pretty decent, fast, and stuff like that. They usually don't give them crazy abilities. They only usually give them abilities for running. I think that's kind of disrespectful when it comes to his accuracy and all that stuff. Because you know he's pretty decent in the game, and they usually just put a lot of it when it comes to his running abilities. So that's the only thing I will say about that. So I'm hoping that. They might give him some decent release and stuff like that just to make him more relevant when it comes to him in the game because i know a lot of people are probably going to want to get him but man he has to have that good accuracy without that good accuracy it's going to be it's like there's a lot of other good cards right now that, that actually could do the job once again i only see people doing them because they're a big fan of him or they like that they run a lot or really like throwing on the run a lot they're going to go with this car but besides that though i really don't I, I really don't I don't know but just based on his previous cards I really don't see him being as great but may, hopefully he is though maybe he has might have, have something great you know he's a good x-factor so we'll see what's gonna happen now let's go over these cards out of all these cards I want to see which one I like that punter that punter is actually pretty crazy you know we can't really have a full detail because we don't know all the abilities right now but this this center though it might be glitchy if he uh if he if he has some very decent abilities, I'm, I'm assuming some zero AP abilities. But that's really all I could think of. Gilmore. Gilmore's all right. I don't like that Dylan. I don't like the JJ Watt. Honestly, the, the best card is going to have to go to this Tyreek. There's other cards that are pretty decent. But this, this card right here, I already know because I'm hearing people. They already said that they want to get this card. So I will say that. But anyways, yeah, to me, it's going to be the best card. We'll get more information tomorrow. And uh, I'll probably complete a couple of these sets if they're not going for too crazy. Get some gameplay for you guys. But anyways, there it is there. Please drop a like on the video. Until next time, I'm out.